Donated organs disappearing during delivery. It happens more often than it should. Now, one company is taking a lesson from your favorite food delivery app to make sure this precious cargo gets to the sick patients who need them most. Our Lauren Victory takes us inside 2020's record breaking year of transplants and discovers a hole in the system that's under repair. When COVID-19 arrived in the United States, landing good news was hard. Especially for the sick. People like Tashiana Smith. All I could do was cry. My first, I want to say my first week of coming, I, I cried because I was just in shock. Like, how did I get here? Tashiana had been fighting kidney failure for nearly two and a half years. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Four hours each round. What did coming to dialysis three times a week take away from you? Um, I had to stop working. I had to stop going to school. Some days I will be extremely tired, extremely drained. But her dread of dialysis suddenly started to lift when she was placed on the transplant waiting list for a new kidney and pancreas in February 2020. A few weeks later. That's when COVID like really hit and I'm like, wow. So how long are they gonna push my transplant back? You know, everything like just stopped. One of the everythings, Grandview Aviation, which had just expanded to Chicago Executive Airport. No one wanted to take a flight in this beautiful luxury jet with COVID-19 in the air. But to COO Jesse Noor's surprise, a certain type of call still came in. When the pandemic struck, we were all really worried, you know, is anything going to happen? Are these organs just not going to be donated? Organs, you heard her right. Pilot Ricardo Gobo found himself boarding. Not the rich and famous, but medical teams. Two doctors and two nurse on the back, and we we fit the box here. A box holding someone's heart or liver, their second shot at life. Grandview Aviation flew more organ transport trips in 2020 than ever before. More than 36,000 organs from deceased donors whizzed across the country last year during the pandemic. But imagine the stress when a package literally holding the gift of life goes missing or gets delayed. You see, in a time when we can track our online orders, follow our food deliveries, and watch for our ride shares in real time, knowing the exact location of an organ en route to a sick patient hasn't been possible until now. We needed something that was efficient, that was lightweight. Casey Humphreys is from UNOS Labs, the nonprofit research arm of the United Network for Organ Sharing. UNOS handles the country's transplant waiting list, matching donor with recipient. For the past year, Humphreys has been working on a solution for organ transport problems, GPS tracking. The hope is to eliminate headlines like this. UNOS reported 28 shipment failures and 109 near misses with delays to the federal government in 2015. Now, that's only about 5% of total transports, but many of the life-saving organs affected had to be discarded. Problems included airline computer system issues and courier delay due to traffic. Even minor things like it being dropped off at the wrong desk at a hospital. Um, small things like that where it's where it needs to be, just one building over. What are the effects that you've heard anecdotally of the organ being in the wrong place? It's just a lot of back and forth and, and inefficiency, honestly. With doctors and patients anxiously waiting on the sometimes life or death deliveries. Now transplant teams can follow along on a map. These brown indicators show a recent trip using the new tracker. No matter how many hands you know are responsible for getting that organ there, we know it gets there. That confidence in the transport could lead to hospitals accepting organs from farther away. It means transplants possibly sooner. For those agonizing over the weight, like Brittany Burry. It's probably not a big deal to most people, but people who are She's been stuck in a Northwestern Memorial Hospital room for weeks. Fingers crossed for a double lung and heart delivery. When CBS2 told her about the UNOS tracking project, 
it's like they care about it, I guess, and that matters to us. While Britney's wait continues, a different type of TikTok consumes Tashiana. I start crying. I'm like, <laughs> I've waited so long for this, you know. She's happier and much more energetic after her transplant finally came through last July. So you have no idea where your organs came no. from? No. What matters to her is her organs journey from donor to hospital didn't land on the list of bad statistics. With transportation solutions and further testing, 2021 transplants are en route to break the good kind of record again. For a victory, CBS 2 News. Good to see her celebrating that transplant.